Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Twitch mid lane. Uh, I haven't done AP Twitch in quite some time, but the reason why I stopped playing so much AP Twitch because I did go through an AP Twitch mid lane phase where I spammed it a lot. This was even before the off meta um, series, but Riot did kind of nerf it pretty damn hard, so that's why I haven't been playing it as much. Uh, that being said, looks like there's off meta on the other team too with Orin Jungle. <laughs> I have no idea if this person actually plays Orin Jungle, or if he's just griefing, or like legitimately playing, but we're playing versus Ari. Ari's, in my opinion, one of the matchups for almost any mid lane champion where you don't really get to interact with her, because she just is so mobile, safe, good CC, she has nearly no downsides besides maybe damage, but even then she actually feels pretty fine, so... It might just be a boring, uh, just CS war. We just CS versus each other. Very little interaction. I'm not really sure. Throw my uh, W at her. Nice, four stacks. Wow, all of my stacks actually. Yeah, never mind about no interaction. She almost let me auto attack her too. If she let me auto attack her there to reset my poison stacks to max again, she would have been in a really bad situation. So it's a bit unfortunate we didn't get that. Twitch kind of, his mana cost on his W isn't the best, but uh, what's nice is that once we take presence of mind, which is what we have with Halo Blades, um, then our poison ticks our presence of mind, so we just, like, never really run that out of mana. We will eventually run out of mana, but it's not the absolute worst. Good poke so far. Uh. Oh. Well, unfortunately, he did get to smite it, so... Otherwise, she might have been able to kill him. So that's a little bit sad that that didn't work out completely. I guess I can rotate down. I don't really have any... Oh, of course, my pathing took me the way that I didn't want to go. One. She's just dead. I mean, that was pretty grief. But I guess at the end of the day, she probably went in without flash. I was going to say, why is she not just immediately flashing out? But she did already kill my teammates, so. Nice. I mean, if we don't get it by charm, we actually have pretty decent all in because you can just throw down your W, which not only uh, causes your venom to start stacking, but also it slows them down, so. I'm just going to try to reset, though. Too bad I don't have any mana. I might be able to escape. Just because, uh... With Twitch, also, she saved my life. I actually would have died there to the Renekton uh, W. But anyways, with Twitch, you get bonus movement speed. When uh, you use your Q, and then the movement speed is increased significantly when people are near you. So because Renekton was so close to me and Camille, then I run way faster. So it just makes it that much easier to just uh, escape. Um, that's why having Q is like a really, really strong way of escaping anybody who's about to catch you because you're low. And that's also why if you've ever played against Twitch, why once he disappears once, you probably never see him again. Because normally uh, you'll never catch back up because he's just faster. 
So, that's the reason why you can never see him after he uh, disappears once. Good poke there. RE is expunged, which just causes everything that has my uh, stacks from my passive to take damage. And we're just trying to max stack it. That's why you take Halo Blades, so. The only goal is to not get hit by Charm. Hopefully sidestep it. Not always the easiest to do, but... If she lets me ulti auto attack one time, she dies, but I really doubt that she would let that happen. My ultimate range is pretty long, so if she does step up, I'll probably go for it, but I think that she's just gone. That being said, Camille is missing from bot side. And also, Ari's gonna come back pretty soon. Very healthy, because she got to base, so I might just reset. I miss one creep, but that's okay. It's not always good to pressure all the time. I mean, top's already winning, so we're in a pretty good situation to win. Uh, I'll just build a dark seal, I guess. You never know with champions like Twitch if you can get a bunch of dark seals, which will help out. Oh my god, how did that hook miss? Nice kill. And then Vi comes in and kills him before she can use her thingy. Oh. Or not. Dang. They might get uh, kited. To... They might get kited. Oh. Well, Ari's coming down to kill that guy. Sorry, man. You're probably dead, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can get down there fast enough. Whoa. That was actually kind of close for a second. I'm just going to help shove out bot, because she wanted to freeze for her teammates, so. I'm not going to run into anybody, am I? I think so. This guy's really weak. Got big poke damage on him. Now that he's low, he'll probably need a base, so that is an advantage itself. Just Yone becomes even stronger, I guess. Ari did use ultimate. That's an advantage that we could possibly use. How does she know that I did that? Wow, that does no damage. I feel like... I guess I thought that I was stronger than I was. That's uh, one of the easiest ways of killing people. You just start all inning, and then all it takes is a couple hits, and you might be able to get them. Oh, well. I really want those double buffs, so I'm desperate. Renekton came back down. Yeah, I really expected more from uh, my max stacks, but I guess my I don't really have much AP. 144 damage? That's it. I guess I'll rotate down. Screw it. There's no reason not to, I suppose. You guys are getting dope pretty damn hard. Maybe I can actually salvage it. You already got most of them. Callista is kind of a scary champion, though. There's no way I can get her. Sorry. I even hit R. Uh, oh. She's dead. Nice. Yeah, once I noticed that Ari would probably die to uh, either the poison or I think Thresh ignited too or something, I was just like, alright, so she's just gone, I can ignore that. And then also when people die, Presence of Mind gives me back mana so I can keep using my abilities because otherwise you'll, you'll just run out. Um, 
So, then I can come back in for Callista as well. Oh, you died. Sorry, I didn't shove out the wave with you, I guess. Although, it would have been hard. Now that we have our Nashra's Tooth, our damage should spike. The The play that I made mid would have definitely worked if I just was strong. But I guess I wasn't really that strong yet. Now I should be dealing way more. Because now my auto attacks also deal bonus damage. So, works hand in hand with Halo Blades. Being level 9 would also be pretty nice, too. I kind of want to wait for her to shove in. I think that going against these guys, despite me being strong, is actually still pretty difficult. One auto attack is all it needs. Nice. I can't. But that's okay, we got her. As you can see, she immediately went on me, and that's because, I mean, if Thresha wasn't there, I could have instantly died. I'm super squishy. Camille was level 6, so she could just press R on me, and then uh, Callista can drag her with her ultimate out of tower aggro. Also, I don't know why Callista didn't use ultimate, maybe she already used it previously. Because she didn't just recently reach 6. She has Bork. Oh, she didn't even... She's down here alone. My ultimate's coming back up. When I have my ultimate, I can look way harder. It's really nice to have this blue buff, too. It's sick. Nice hook. I'm just going to pop my ultimate for the extra range and damage just to make sure it 100% is going to work. Because sometimes uh, I like saving my abilities, but it doesn't work out. Like, maybe if I save my ability and don't kill her fast enough, my Thresh dies. And then the most simple way of doing a dive on, like, any champion, depending on the champion you are. In my case, I don't have a tower reset or anything, so all I do is just wait for my teammate to start the engage. As soon as my teammate does the engage, because they're playing the support, then I can start hitting. And then I have no risk of, uh, like, dying to tower or anything. I'm just gonna sell this to buy crown. This is such an amazing purchase. We're so strong now. Two items at 13 minutes. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, the game's just kind of over. I feel like the Orn didn't even play that poorly. Although, at the same time, he didn't get to do anything all game because he's Orn. I'm imagining that Orn uh, early game ganks before he's 6 is absolute trash. I don't really care about getting the CS. I I kind of just want to run around and get kills everywhere. I don't think that I need to uh, get any more CS this game. So, oh, this is warded. I guess I'll just clear. There's nothing else that I can do. <clears throat> Rotate top. And she's dead. Let's just go over to Orn now. Just keeping my stacks on him. I don't really need to be turning around and auto-attacking him, but... It takes six seconds for it to expire, so there's so much time. But still, might as well get a little bit of damage from Nash's Tooth on him, I guess. Damn, so close to my uh, Magi's, but I feel like if I stick around, there's a chance that uh, Ari jumps on me and kills me. Yeah, 
So, I mean, the damage is okay, right? I deal 500 damage with my E when they're fully stacked. Of course, there's also that physical damage as well, but that doesn't really matter as much. Um, and then we have 70 damage a second, and it lasts for 6 seconds. So, once again, a pretty big number there. But what's really nice is the cooldown short. So, it's 5 second cooldown on my E. So, basically, the idea is just continuously just throw out... Oh, well, I'm probably dead here. Peace. This person's probably gonna die to my poison. Last tick. Yeah, your poison deals so much damage. It's ridiculous. As soon as I got hit by Camille ult, I knew I was dead. There's no way out. Oh, nice. I got an assist on that. Dude, if I bought a Medjize, I might have been able to get more stacks. And I would have actually had 10 right now. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm imagining that they might have that. After everybody has done so well this game, it's probably just over. I guess we'll find out, though. So, getting a massive, massive amount of AP is extremely good. Uh, because you're kind of working off of not the base damages. The base damages are not really that good. It's mostly the AP ratios. So... Almost 200% on your E. I thought about it for a second. Oh, wow. Nice hook. I honestly didn't think that you were going to land that. Yone is Yone, so because Yone is Yone, we might be able to do something here. He lasted forever, got a lot of ultimates off. Ari takes skill for sure, says the Yone. Did my E just not hit her? I thought you were going to flank as well, so... I went in for a purpose. Wait, what? Am I sticking around? Got him. That guy's dead to the poison. Dang, man. I guess maybe I could have clicked the lantern a little bit sooner. I was knocked up, though, as well. I had almost five seconds of CC. The first thing I had to do was kill Camille quickly before she could auto-attack me, because when Camille uses her auto-attack, her passive gives her magic damage shield. And that would have made it so my E doesn't kill, but it all worked out in the end. We got the, the dub. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Twitch mid commentary. Twitch mid Although it was nerfed, is still completely playable. He's kind of a snowball-y champion because uh, it's very easy to get kills and continue chasing because of the Q. Uh, I guess I didn't mention it, but your Q resets. So it makes it so you can continue going camouflage over and over again, which once again helps out with the movement speed to chase people down or run away if you're getting caught. Give it a buy. We had a good uh, dueling 2v2 where we like really popped off hard. So you can see damage dealt very high. Uh, and I bet there's a lot of true damage as well. Like, you can see 7,000 true damage because that's from my Venom. Um, my physical damage is actually more than my magic, but that's also because, like, my ultimate gives me AD and stuff, so it's kind of mixed damage. You'll deal probably mostly true damage eventually than magic. It's just that the AP ratios function well once you get a that death cap and things. So anyways, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Briar bot lane versus a Kaisa Leona, which is a pretty good lane. I think Kaisa's just still, she's broken, always will be broken, I guess, until the Riot really puts her in the gutter, but for now, still one of the best AD carries. Uh, I mean, I do think Nautilus is also very good, but obviously Briar... I can get kited. What's what's difficult about Kai'Sa compared to other AD carries for Briar is that 
I benefit from being low, but her on hit passive that has five stacks at max stacks uh, can destroy me. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I just have my Halo Blade uh, rune page up, so just going basic rune page that uh, if you want to go like lethality type build. Briar was nerfed, but it was mostly jungle nerfs and uh, like very, very minor uh, nerfs for lane. The nerfs for lane basically were uh, her attack speed growth per level got... Uh, a little bit less, and the amount of healing she gets from hitting minions is also less. So that's about it. Otherwise, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, obviously, the minion and monster healing affects jungle more than lane. Plus, they also buffed one thing, which is they buffed the amount that you heal for versus champions. So technically, you could think of it as a a trade-off where we might not heal for minions, but hey, we were never really using that in the first place. So. Sometimes bleed gets some of these, otherwise we're just chilling. You can never play aggressive early on as Briar. You need to wait for like level three. Ten to sixteen. It's normal to be down. I was hoping to be more like twelve to sixteen, but it's not really the worst. As levels start coming in, and like as we didn't just like waste our potion because we're not unnecessarily taking harass. Okay, I'll just like three hit her. Well played. I was trying to get level 3 because if, if he auto attacks with Targons, we actually would have probably leveled up. But hey, I mean, that works too, right? Good lockdown. Good lockdown, good lockdown. It's so weird that sometimes this is like such a weird thing that Riot does and it's only sometimes... When you're using a skin, your champion por portrait never changes, yet the new Nico skin portrait shows up differently. So it's just so weird. Uh, this is a pretty difficult game overall. We do have really good engage, though. But, like, Ramus is obviously good versus Briar because, like, you know, he wants me to hit him, and that has pretty good value for him because of his uh, thorn mail that he'll build. I'm trying to save this for him. Dang, I really missed that minion over there. That kind of sucks. 24 to 26. Not that bad. Plus, we're going to level up on this minion now. You can totally step up, dude. I don't know why she ignited me. I'm gonna pop my potion. Hail Blades is back up. I could probably kill that Kai's if I just land a stun on her, maybe. Ooh, nice try. Good push in. Who is it, Ramus? Was he just topside? He must have been, right? I wonder if I should just go for poke. Just to hit Leona. She did burn ignite, so my healing is still bonkers. It's weird that they would go for harass there. I wonder if the jungler is nearby. That being said, my scream disengage is very powerful. So sometimes you can actually escape ganks that otherwise you would die from. I feel like he's down here. Their posturing is very strange and aggressive. 
So I feel like they're down here. Dang, well played. I'm just gonna heal myself and run. Nice. Uh, there's a reason why you take heal on Botling Briar on one character at least minimum. Can I get this? Dang, really? I even bit him quickly. Very fast bite. Into E. <sighs> I guess I could have maybe tried shoving him away. I know that I can Q away. I feel like if I was just a tiny bit further away and I don't take a tower shot, I'm okay. So that was just like unfortunate timing. They have a pretty tanky team comp. I might go for a Eclipse instead of Dustblade. Anyways, what I was trying to explain is uh, your healing is increased by 50%, includes every single form of healing in the game. Soraka healing, heal healing from my passive, or my, my uh, summoner spell. So when I'm low and I press this, I literally can get so much more healing from it. Is somebody here? Can I jump on her? Is Leona here? If Leona's not here, this person should just be dead. Like this is so unnecessarily aggressive. Okay, so somebody is here. Let me just try to back away then. I was gonna say, I was like, she is like playing so aggro, but I don't see Leona, so I got so confused. I might be able to outplay under tower. If they try to dive me, I have my E up, which gives me that uh, damage reduction and healing and stuff, so. I'm gonna miss so many of these. It's still going really good though, I would say. I'm pretty happy with my purchases overall and the pressure that we have. Why is she posturing up again? Like, is Leona in one of these brushes? Can we check every brush? Okay, good. We see her. Finally. I really care about vision control around, like, seeing where the enemy support is. Just back away. That was really good harass. Got her. Because I landed my ultimate, firstly, I get that bonus stat, so, like, my Berserk is just a better version of it, but... Oh, wait, am I gonna die? But she dies. I think that's okay. Yeah, does it suck that I died? Yeah. But, I mean, Kai'Sa didn't get to be any part of it, so she's 0, three, zero. Like, I mean... That's, that's pretty good, I would say. So the reason why Eclipse is good versus tanks is mostly because of the mythic passive, uh, which gives you percent armor pen, which works very well versus tankier people. But also the like passive itself is good too, where like um, the ability of it, where I get percent damage when I hit two abilities on somebody and a shield. So, I gotta be a little bit more of a tankier champion, while also just uh, being able to kill tanks a little bit easier, so... Nice, we didn't miss a single one there. <clears throat> Nico gonna kill Annie. Uh, also, your Berserk sees inside of brushes, so when you do this and you don't see them, it's almost guaranteed that we know that they're uh, not there. That guy's just dead. I don't think I have anything to do. If I land ultimate on this guy, can I kill her?
I mean, we know that Leona's not around, unless you took the Blast Cone over down here, which didn't go over this ward. The issue with ulting the Kaisa is, uh, when I get close to her with my ultimate, she hits me, puts passive, and then immediately jumps away. I guess I could always Q, though, to follow that up. So, who knows, maybe it would have been alright. Good poke, man. I guess I could have just went in and just went for it. It's just that we're kind of close to their tower, and... I know that Kai'Sa can run away pretty easily, so... Probably dead here. I can't even move. I'm like perma stuck. It's only because of the Nar TP, like uh, that. I don't want to fight. Obviously, if Nar does have a, uh, isn't there? I'm okay with trying. What am I scared of on their team? They're pretty mixed damage. When I hit Ramus, I'm doing magic damage to myself. Nar does mixed damage. I think CC is the biggest issue, so let's just go for Merc Treads. Their Kaisa is pretty weak too, which is pretty nice. So, we get Dragon. It's our, only our first Dragon though. Oh wait. Dang, he actually stole it. I didn't even hit the dragon. I literally went for him, and we still lost it. That sucks. Well, two dragons down. Oof. It's pretty crappy. The question is, can I just ulti her again, and will it work? Hey there. Oh, she just given up. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was just going for tower. Whenever you have a wall, you might as well just uh, scream all of them into the wall, so. I don't think I need to use Q to readjust. He's pretty far away, so. Are we ulting? I mean, you did kill him. Didn't die either. Nice. I got the tower as well. Eee. This fight's odd. Yeah, this fight's just very odd. I got exhausted and ignited, so... I think Nico just flashed. At least Leona also got the shutdown on Hecarim rather than anybody else, because that definitely does help a little bit too. They have such a tanky team comp. That Leona's worth so much. I think that I should go, like, basically just pure shred. So, Black Cleaver... Yeah, I mean, this guy didn't even go Black Cleaver, so I guess I could probably do it. And then just immediately last Whisper item. Like, legitimately get as many possible shredding items as uh, I possibly can. So, let's just do that. Vladimir will scale. The problem is that because we lost these dragons, we're kind of on a timer. There is a way to lose this game. Oh, wait, it hit Leona. Actually, this is pretty good. Killed Leona with me? Dude, she's worth so much, and you're actually just ignoring her. Nice. 
She's actually worth so much gold. <laughs> 600 gold on Leona. Nice. Nar? He is in Mega, I guess. I doubt he would fight. He'll, he'll probably run away, right? Nico is back alive, so we need to count minions. Nico is bot. <laughs> Even though he has a uh, thorn mail and stuff, we're still champions that have some shred. I don't know about Hecarim, but I do. Hecarim doesn't have shred in his kit. My Q reduces armor. I'm just gonna scream and run. Get rid of our Berserk. If she jumps over this wall, or I can jump over the wall if she comes top. Oh, never mind. This guy's worth a lot of money. I get smited. That sucks, dude. I was under tower for like legitimately one single second. I still took so much damage there. I just wanted to bite her after stunning and just quickly go uh, it stop my berserk, but my berserk never went off. Okay, but because Nar died, this all worked out in the end, so. My main goal of going top there was seeing that Nar had a shutdown and just assisting with whatever was going on. Dude, how are you, like, almost solo killing this guy when you're so far behind? What? She's down three levels. Level She wasn't even level two ultimate, and she did that. At least we finally get a dragon, too. I don't think my team needs help with this, but... I don't even think my team needs help with this guy. I almost threw out my ultimate, but that would have been such a waste. I'll just come over and help uh, do it, because I'm not going to miss any creeps for uh, leaving lane since I already shoved it in. Dude, please. Not again, dude. This stupid Ramus. My god, man. It's so tilting. How does he get it every time, dude? I stopped DPSing again. Is Hecarim DPSing the... There's no way this guy's damage should be dealing enough that we can't just, like, ignore doing the dragon and just go for him, right? Like... Whatever. I'm gonna go buy my Black Cleaver, man. Okay, so they're one dragon away from Soul because two of them were stolen, so... We have no control over that, really. I was literally there both times. Huh. Oh my goodness. I'll just scream. Oh, I hit Kaisa into the wall. She almost died. She she must have uh, used her ultimate in to get me <laughs> because I got CC'd. But she almost immediately died. That's actually kind of funny. That almost went really good for us even though... uh. I was so deep underneath her tower. All right, last whisper time. Now, the question is, what do I want to go? Am I tanky? Lord Doms is better the squishier you are because you want things that have more HP than you. But I do have a Black Cleaver, which does give a pretty significant amount. So probably Mortal Reminder is the best. Even though they don't have that much healing, I can still reduce some of it. Like just health regen, I guess. What's nice is that it gives me a crit chance, and crit chance is not that bad on Briar, because you actually deal a lot with your W bite. It can crit. What? That's a little bit crazy of an attempt. What?
Oh my god, this is so good. She's gonna try jumping over this wall, so I'll jump over with her? Okay, or not. I think she still dies, though. But still, it's kind of bad because my teammates are losing that fight. Okay, never mind. Hecarim's smurfing it. There's nothing for me to heal off of, sadly, though. Dang, one more hit and he dies, dude. Like, one more W hit. <sighs> the only reason why that went bad is because my W didn't take me over the wall. The You don't get to choose the pathing you take, and I just, I guess, maybe the pathing wasn't close enough. Because being, you want to always, like, click, like, right here. But if my character's, like, here, like, I know this is, like, a very small margin, but it does make a difference for wall hops. And I didn't want to just cancel it. But maybe that would have been for the best to cancel it just to help out. We lose Baron off that. Oof. That's sucky. Yeah, I didn't realize they would lose the fight, especially with Hecarim dying when he's so fed. But I guess it kind of makes sense because our top lane is not really useful. right now. He is a little bit behind. One more dragon till they get soul, so... Now we have to fight them with the Baron at soul. So... That's the fake one. If this hits Nar, it's sick, but if it's this guy, it's bad. Got him. Alright guys, I killed honestly one of their most important members, but I feel like you guys probably still get destroyed. Uh, Vlad doesn't have ultimate yet. Now he does, but he's going to die before he can even use it. Not that it would have really changed the team fight at all though, because uh, our most important member is dead, the heck room. So they get soul. If only we didn't lose those two smite wars. If only, man. If only. Very frustrating game. The Kaisa was like 1 and 8, so. Hmm. I'll go mortal. Is Hecarim just going in again? Oh. Huh. This guy just never stops. Very aggressive at all points. Because I'm not a solo laner, I'm so far behind EXP wise. I guess. I have my own gnarled healing myself. My gnarled didn't hit anybody though. But yeah, my, my E, since I hit people against walls to stun them, is actually just like the same as Gnar. <laughs> Scream against the wall. So fast, man. <clears throat> All 
All right, well, that was a pretty good fight. I mean, that definitely helps out with the level advantage that top and mid have over me, so... gonna kill her I don't know where Leona came from but it just felt like nobody else should be in the area so it should be pretty easy to get her oh Nico killed Annie huh uh Nico's not inside that brush. I don't really know what I want to build next. Wish I had my ultimate. Damn, dude, you're going so aggressive. I can't activate my ability. Well, I'm alive for the time being. Probably dead here. I don't think Annie and Vladimir can beat this, so hopefully they can just, like, wave clear. Pfft, don't, don't even bother fighting her, man. You're so weak. Please, no. You're one in nine, dude. You're one in nine. Uh, well, at least I have another item. One more item to go. One more item to go. If they don't take inhibs or anything, I mean, we just lose Baron again. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> Stride Breaker, uh, Kaisa. Do I want to go Ravenous Hydra? Elder's coming up. I think we should just fight Elder, right? We don't have Hecarim Ultimate forever now. I guess I just die, huh? Yeah, well, whatever. I think mid top are just unfortunately not able to do anything this game for us. It's kind of like a 2v5. With me and Hecarim. Although I think Hecarim's tilted too, because he's kind of just running in, so it's whatever. We might have one more chance at a team fight. I really wish that we could, like, 5v5 ever, but it feels like everybody's always, like, not grouping, so... It's probably never gonna happen, huh? Riftmaker damage of whopping 61. That's pretty huge. We've already spent so much time in this game. Might as well not FF and just, uh, pray that I... I guess I'll just, like... I'll be the first person to engage, maybe? I don't really trust my team at all. I don't trust anybody at this point. I used to trust Hecarim, but my trust has faded as he just doesn't care anymore. So, the only person I can trust is me landing an ultimate on Kaiser or something. That being said, it feels like most of their champions are just not going to be killable.
So it's a wee bit sucky. I'm trying to find an angle where I go in through a flank side. Obviously, I can't just ulti from front to back. You're already dead, right? Oh, you almost got her. That was pretty close, man. I got them low. Dang, 300 HP. Nico's almost dead too. It was a good, good try. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary of me trying to play Nico or not Nico, uh, play a uh, Briar bot lane. As you can see, it honestly isn't that bad. I think that we kind of won lane pretty damn hard, actually, uh, because as soon as you reach three and then onwards, it just progressively gets better and better. That being said. I think that there were some other issues that scheme that might have dictated because, yeah. One thing that it can always help for people who get really upset about game losses is that you can play perfectly the best player you could ever be and still lose because sometimes it's uncontrollable. So this was one of those, in my opinion, uncontrollable losses where if I, I don't think that I played perfect, but if I did play perfect... I bet we still would have lost. Some games are unwinnable. So, anyways, thanks for watching once again, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see all of you guys in the next commentary. Bye.